Brothers and Kirby. It would be hard to conjure up anything more soft and cuddly than Kirby. And yet somehow, he's managed to work his way into the hearts of a lot of hardened gamers. They know Kirby's got game. And he hasn't had a starring role in a Nintendo home console in seven years. So we decided it was time for a return engagement. But questions were raised. Should a new game be cut from the same cloth, stitched together from previous work? Should Kirby stick to his knitting? Or spin a yarn in a way that yarn has never been spun before? My friends, the answers are right here. Even with its new art style, the most obvious difference about Kirby's epic yarn is not the way it looks, but the way it works. Try it in the booth. I felt the difference, and I think you will too. Kirby's epic yarn is slated for release this fall. Less than a year ago, Dragon Quest IX from Square Enix debuted in Japan exclusively on Nintendo DS. It's become a phenomenon, selling 4.2 million copies there. This epic adventure with you helping to decide its path can make claims to being among the deepest and richest experiences ever launched on Nintendo DS. You could describe it just by the numbers. With 120 mini quests, and additional Wi-Fi mini-quests, over 300 monsters, over 900 items to customize your character, and an infinite number of randomly generated treasure maps. But that would be selling it short. What fueled the craze in Japan is the interaction between players. It practically begs for multiplayer action. Dragon Quest IX links you up with as many as three friends to quest together. And the social element doesn't end when you shut your DS. In tag mode, the game will independently seek out other nearby players, quietly adding new characters and new maps to your adventure. And when I say deep, let me add this. Chico, maybe the top Dragon Quest fan in our treehouse, has now logged more than 140 game hours, and she feels like she's just getting started. Gamers new to the franchise can get involved at their own pace, but watch out, you'll get sucked in too. Dragon Quest IX, exclusive to Nintendo DS, arrives here in the US in just 26 days. 
And then, on the last day of August, passionate players on we will experience a signature moment with an old friend. In Metroid Other M, what hasn't been lost is a sense of isolation and exploration that has always been the hallmarks of the franchise. But Nintendo and Team Ninja have also pushed the Metroid franchise down emotional corridors it's never traveled before. Samus returns when Metroid Other M for Wii arrives in stores on August 31st. As you know, Retro Studios in Texas has produced some great Metroid titles. But when they said they were ready for something new, we asked them to take one of the most treasured franchises in video game history and to make it magic again. If you listen, you can hear it coming. We're going back to the jungle this holiday. With the names we've talked about today, Donkey Kong and Goldeneye, Kirby and Metroid, you might find your game memories sliding into the past. But we're going to close today by throwing you in the other direction, far into the future of gaming. It was Super Mario 64 that first moved us into, into fully rendered game worlds. It was the Wii Remote that got us up off the couch and into